Hello there everyone and welcome to the beginning of a new campaign in Old World Blues in which we are playing, well not on the west coast, but let's just click on Texas for now, or Mexico really. And as you can tell, maybe from the thumbnail and, well, really the video title, we're playing as Max in Chapter So, We're going to leave historical AI focuses off to see what happens and pretty much everything's going to be set to default for custom game rules, so why Max in Chapter? Well, that's because some people want me to play it, even though some others want me to wait before I play it before the West Midwestern Brotherhood is introduced in the game. But that's going to take at least a year or two at the time of this recording. So I figured, you know what? Let's go ahead and just try them out. It won't be a long campaign. Their focus tree is not super unique. But regardless, the mods we're using today, of course, are pretty standard on this channel. Old World Blues, Old World Blues Radio, Colored Events, uh, Stage Chester Tool Mod, as well as player-led peace conferences. And let us begin with the focus. As you can see, it's not that long. It's really not that unique, except for prepare for a new expedition. So, our founding. While Elder, High Elder Maxim was a founder of the Brotherhood as a whole, each chapter had its own founders. Those that spread the word of dangers of technology farther into the wasteland. Who were our founders? No idea. Let's see, we start off with... Okay, not too, not too bad. Five divisions, that's kind of around where I thought we would start with. Let's see, but we do have three units of power armor. Paladin Neal's Bunker Kid. Yeah, they're both going to be Bunker Kids. Lucky. They're both A and L, so they're both Agile and Lucky, which is, eh, okay. So we'll just choose whoever's more attacked for the Paladins, and you guys, well, you can get that person. All right, we start with five research slots and tech levels. Not looking, not looking too bad. Power armor's good. Support, infantry is really good. Everything else is kind of meh. And we are advanced, of course, so let's grab some Ohm's Law. Five research slots are super nice, especially considering... We're probably not that strong. Industry planning, thank you very much. Some construction basics, as well as... Let's con... Well, actually, do we have any planes? We don't have any planes, so I'm going to go with gliders. So. And I'll be honest, I have not tried this off-screen at all yet. I'm going in completely blind. So, we'll see what happens. Spec Ops, probably not going to use those. These guys are... Oh, they're not even tank with They at least have anti-tank. Um, We're going to need at least three of you guys. And then Paladin Patrols are probably... Uh, 10 combat width. Mm, I want more divisions. I'm going to wait to make these guys 20 combat width. Maybe. We don't get any daily army XP gain. And... Aut automated warfare research speed. I guess there is a path for us to maybe get some... Uh, robots. We could use robots maybe eventually, but we'll see what happens. Uh, let's grab Pierce. That's not, that's not bad. Infrastructure construction speed? Wow. And the caps, if you'd like to read about caps, go right ahead. So, Our founding in the year of 2231, Jeremy Max, and the leader of the Western Brotherhood of Steel, decided to expand Brotherhood operations into the east to explore the Colorado region and assist the Midwestern chapters in operations near Vault Zero. It's in an expeditionary force composed of five paladins to confirm the location of a rumored bunker built by the U.S. Senator Todd Peterson. The expedition leader, Andrea Brixley, discovered the bunker disabling or disabled its security and opened it up for habitation. For over a decade, she and her fellow paladins explored the east and forged relationships with many of the tribes that inhabited the area. In the year 2242, Jeremy Maxson renamed the bunker after his famous ancestor, Roger Maxson. He then sent a full complement of troops for occupation. Andrea Brixley was promoted to elder, given the rank of general, and placed in charge. The remainder of her exploratory team was given the title of elder as well. Of the original five founders of the Maxson chapter, which group of founders was most prominent? Were the scribes more stability, or paladins with more war support? Ooh, I would love more war support, and that's really good for defense, but I think I want a little bit more stability. They were scribes. Our interim. Each chapter of the Brotherhood has its own priorities. Some focus on collecting the proper weapons of the old world, while some prioritize the industrial machinery and tools. What did we focus on? What did I focus on? I focused on my coffee here, which is going to keep us nice, warm, and, well, alert for a while. And I don't think we have a trade note here, do we? New Sterling. We gotta get a new Sterling pretty quickly then. Very nice. And then our future. We have learned plenty in the years that, have, that are now behind us. We must now use that experience and make preparations for many years that are in front of us. Our interim. It was not long after the fighting between Max and Chapter and a resurgent Hangdogs began. The Hangdogs are a group of tribal raiders stemming from Denver, Big Dog City as they call it. For years a war waged on was considered at advantage for the Max and Chapter, but no matter how many troops fell to the Brotherhood's superior technology, the Hangdogs always seemed to have more replacements available. The Brotherhood, however, was not so fortunate. Being an elitist group, replacements were short in arriving. It soon became obvious that the Brotherhood was doomed to lose the war to the Hangdogs' greater numbers. 
Morale of the bunker began to falter as war seemed more and more hopeless. Eventually, the inevitable happened. Lower-ranking members of the Brotherhood began to desert their posts. It was only when the timely arrival of the Scorpions by the Raiders came from the south that the Max and Chapters spared total annihilation. We've had a few decades to recover from all that, that, that all-time low. And in the interim, we have managed to learn from the losses and rebuild. What do we focus on during this period of following the conflict? Industrial machinery. Weapons. Ooh, I kind of like the weapons, though. Because there's not much we can do about this. We need, obviously, more guns and such and more scrap. Ooh, I don't know how long we have until Lannis' court arrives. I would like to get Robot City under us. At least another nation under us before we go to war so we have a way to escape and maybe core some other territory as well. Ooh... Well, really, we need more guns. I'm going to focus on weaponry, actually. I think that'd be for the best. As much as I want to build that stuff up, I think just, that's just for the best. Very nice. Cool. And our future. We've learned plenty in the years that are now behind us. We must now use that experience and make preparations for the many years that we are that are in front of us. Produce more cells, more factory output, which is pretty good. Gather more from the wasteland. I like resource efficiency gain. Uh, especially since we definitely need more scrap right now. We have initiates. Oh, wow. We already are maxed out. Holy cow. That's really bad. Discouraged traders. Uh, let's take a look here. Resources. If we take out these guys, they have plenty of resources for us. So I got to go to war with Robot City pretty much ASAP. I'm going to get more factory out because I think it's better for us for now. Our might. Our goal is not bad. Our right. Aerial operations. Water operations, of course. And then prepare for a new expedition. Supply issues, stealth boy soldiers, charging fusion cores, agriculture, logistics, recruit wastelanders, which is not bad. Calculator stockpiles, establishing a chain of command, the Greater Colorado Expedition. We get a claim in every Colorado state. Pack with the Midwest. <laughs> Coming in patch 7.0. This We're currently on patch 3.0 at the time of this recording, so it's going to be a long time before we get there. So there's no such effect. Respect Lost Hills orders a permanent 25% reduction in coring costs, and you get scientific robotic tech. Ally with a reformed Texan chapter? Okay. And then we can form Colorado if we do that. That's not bad. I kind of like that, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But we're going to go with our goal because I need that political power because I want to go to war as fast as possible. The brothers' ideology is straightforward. We desire a world in which the recklessness of man cannot be enabled by the tools he wields, a world in which atrocities aren't committed for the sake of scientific progress. This is why we confiscate technology and destroy that which we cannot confiscate. All of our duties are for the good of mankind as a whole. We're going to immediately see if we can justify on these guys. Oh, doki doki. Now we're going to need more. It's going to take so long to get up there anyways. And using power armor, we should be able to break through... Does our power armor have anti-tank? It does not. So, hopefully we can do okay with these guys up here. Need eight more, so we need about 40-ish. Maybe 45, 42, 42 of all things, huh? Warland, Mars Valley. There you go. By doing this, I mean, we're probably pretty equal. They have maybe quite a few divisions, but we have power armor. Hopefully the power armor will be enough, even though it looks like we're already lacking some supplies here for the power armor. Yeah, we're lacking power armor and infantry equipment already. Ah, why? Mm, we do have, what, one civilian factory to use right now? Oh, so not good. So not good. So yeah, we definitely want to expand northwards as fast as possible. Fortifications expert, that's not too bad. Our goal? Cool. And at least we have five research slots. Oh, wow, they'll all be done on the same day. That's not bad. And this will give us more factories and, of course, more resources, resources which we desperately, desperately need. So, all right. So after combat language, we're probably going to choose reference manuals. Encryption's really good to get. Well, not really, really good, but it's it's worthwhile. Get some encryption. We'll grab not that. We'll grab some work as needed, which is good. We'll grab some woodworking, and then we're going to go ahead and just keep going down our land doctrine with a re concentration of force. That'll be good. And we could get another leader. I want someone that can give us more political power or something. Iron will. Ooh, there we go. We lose stability, though. But you get more resource efficiency gain. More monthly population, not bad. And stability, but you lose caps. Civilian integration. That could not... That is not bad. I like that. You get more war support. And less resistance target. <clears throat> or tech acquisition. That seems okay. Let's go ahead. Let's see. Even more outpost construction speed. Research speed. This stuff... 
I mean, we can build outposts really fast. Holy cow. Anything here worth under conscripts? This is exactly just like the Mojave Chapters focus tree back before the Old World Blues 3.0 update came out, so... There's a lot of bonuses for land doctrines and such. We could really use more scrap, so let's go with our right. I do want more factories, but we'll do our right. As a technocratic organization, every piece of technology is rightfully ours. We do not steal technology out of mouse or spite. We take it away to protect the innocents who will inevitably misuse it. Although people don't always understand, everything we do is ultimately to keep the wasteland safe. Our understanding technology is second to none. I'm going to go ahead and maybe grab some more of that. That's only point one more political power, and you lose that much stability, it's just you're not going to get anything from it, so... Factory speed, let's just grab some of this. Military theorist, scribe head, armin. No. Paladin Jackson. Refined warfare, right? Don't want to choose the wrong, uh, minister or advisor with this one, so, yeah, refined warfare is good. Right, so anything we can do to get more stability, well, yes. Yeah, let's go and do that. Let's get some money. That'll be good. And we get some more arm XP, so that's not too bad. Not too bad. Resistance target goes down. If you do this, the resistance target goes up. Yeah, we're gonna need a core as much as possible. Hmm. This stuff is okay. And it won't even matter if we get more like civilian factory construction speed since we already have so little anyways. So Crowd control, that'd probably be helpful. They have seven divisions, they're looking not too strong. They have no piercing power, so. If we can break over through there, we can do pretty well. So, that'd be good. Ooh, do you have anything for us? Well, since we're going down our way, eventually down the, if I remember correctly, the land doctrine gives us recon for our soldiers, so I'm gonna grab that. And I'm gonna grab actually defense, because infantry is not gonna be like super, super strong, but they'll still be pretty good. Alright, next up. 74%. That's not bad. Three days left for a secret language. Pretty good. And better division training time. Why not? Actually, what level of power armor do we have? Hopefully it's not just scavenge PA. That hurts. That hurts. Cool. Alright, and then we're going to go scout salvage metal. Metal salvage is easy to come by. Twisted scraps of metal are as common as dirt in the wasteland, protruding from buildings buried in the earth like weeds, and strewn across streets like rubbish. Salvaging the metal in our immediate area will provide us with more resources for our equipment, which is a very good thing. And they'll probably prepare for a new expedition, maybe do a bunker mindset, maybe? Just because doing naval warfare stuff, or even air stuff is not bad to do, but naval stuff, it's not really worth it. Fighter production cost goes down by 10%, that's okay. Yeah, I don't know the next time we're actually going to be fighting on the seas. Excuse me, on the seas, so... Honestly, a lot of this stuff doesn't seem really that great for us. <laughs> a double bonus for land auction is better to get uh, this charging fusion cores, just because we have so many bonuses to land auction already, so... We could be using robots, but still. Hmm. Alright, next up, let's see. Military High Command, Ad Victorium, less infantry division attack. That's not bad, I like that. That's not bad either, but that hurts our power for, power for production cost. Ooh, that's not bad, but we're not really using robots. Maybe not yet. Maybe eventually, though. Army XP gain? Well, Brixley. That would help us get more, even more Army XP, but... Hmm. I wanted to stress outsiders. We can do funding the army. That's not bad. We get lose a little bit of money, though. Well, we'll be at war soon. And our party is Intellectuals. Has 20% of the maximum chapter's total number of factories. So these guys do, so maybe we'll wait to go to well equipped army. Iron will. Resource efficiency game would be so nice, though. Less war support for more daily complex. You know what? I'm going to go with this one. Because, even though we lose a lot of war support, the resistance truck goes down and we get more daily compliance, which is going to be super, super necessary. Because with we can't change outside recruitment to give us more compliance, so I think that'll be okay. I hope. As long as world attention goes up too, we get more world attention too, so. That'd be okay with me. Three days left before crowd control gear. And we're about two thirds of the way done, which is not bad. NCR declared we're on the rapids. Good. And let's get some support equipment. That'll probably be pretty good. Crowd control gear. Let's grab some of this. Mm, don't need that. Alright, help save us on some of this stuff. There you go. Start making some of that, that'd be good. 
<clears throat> and some planes. <clears throat> now I'm gonna need a stockpile of more power armor. Ooh. We have 82 guns, that's not gonna be enough. Hopefully when we win against these guys and capitulate them, we can get all their guns. That would be super, super important, getting all the guns. All right, up next. Ooh, I mean, that stuff is okay, but... <clears throat> I prepare for our new expedition. Our mission from Lost Souls was always to explore and document the technologies of the East, of Colorado and beyond. While there was many difficulties getting to where we are now, finally in a place where we can accomplish our chapter's mission and begin to scour the wasteland for technology. To do that, we will first need to affirm our base at home, however. Arm XP, not bad. This is isolationist Andrea. Hmm. Now we'll get some woodworking done, too. Yeah, we could begin a scavenging thing, but... Uh, I don't know. We don't have that many caps, so... And we gotta save all this infantry equipment. Hopefully the power armor can break through. I'm not super confident about it, but hopefully they can. Get some tool procurement, that'd be good. And grab some organized agriculture, so... Cool. Okay, so now they have a little bit less divisions than what I thought they had, which is good. Yeah, that's not bad. Mm, that would definitely help us if we can definitely take them out. That'd be so good. Let's see. Well, we have our we might have our land first land actually done too with better infantry once we go to war. But this is not going to be an easy campaign, is it? So let's see. Actually, that's not bad. Coring Mars Valley would be super super quick. It's only forty. Robots would be awesome to core though. Good population, great resources. Lamar is okay. In Warland, eh, it's not really that great. But I do want to beeline a new Sterling because these guys almost never kill anyone off. Even with the hangdogs here, they're not that great. And this, just getting up there, there, getting a trade node would be good. So, possibilities. There's a lot of possibilities out there. Uh, can't do that. All right, well, it's time for war. <clears throat> now they attack us, which I'm totally okay with. Which ruins their supply, forces them to get a little bit more attrition. Totally, totally okay. All right, so let's go and do this before I forget it. Welcome to army. Very nice. Hey, we got two uh, civilian factories to use now. Great. A few days left, and then we'll go with uh, rapid deployment. More breakthrough, more max speed, but more training time, which is totally fine with me. Another infantry division. War hand, war band. Now, if we lose, that's going to be really bad for us. Multi-purpose equipment, that's fine. So, they can't pierce our guys. And we can all just pierce their robots, which is fine with me. Cool. <clears throat> Supply issues. I mean, technically, we do have a deficit of anti-tank. But it's really not that bad. We actually have enough scrap now, too. Because we got one of our focuses done. So, it's not too bad. And I'll go with that one. Supply issues. Well, Lost Hills sent us a full detachment some time ago. Now our stockpile is starting to run dry. We need to determine how to best use our remaining supplies. Good. Organized agriculture. Even better seed selection. Warrior training is done. That's good. Can't do this stuff because it's a little ahead of time. Better anti-tank. We gotta wait. Let's get some automation. Let's try that. One of those guys looking too weak. Killed off 31 guys. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, and let's get a, a field marshal. Stonewall Campbell. Skill, huh? He's a hoarder, so that's okay. Bruiser, more attack, I like that. And we don't lose defense. Strong, charismatic, lucky, yes please. Inspirational. And then rooted. So we can get S Savage Leader to get more breakthrough. And we've won the battle, but can we actually win going across here? That's the ultimate question. Yes, maybe. Go right ahead, guys. You'll do great. Nice. Pierce him, pierce him, pierce him. Eh, go and do that. That's fine. War propaganda. That actually would not be bad to do for more weekly war support. We could definitely use more war support. We currently get po a little, basically one political power every day. That's not bad. Oh, don't don't start faltering, guys. Uh, infantry is not doing well. That's what's up. Oh boy. Motorized flight. All right, infantry. You guys hold out. Let the power armor deal with this for now. Let them get more strength. They're only like what, six combat with. That's like nothing. Even the power armor is not looking super great right now. Throw one division in there at a time. I don't care what the cost is. We, we have to win this war, so. Multi-purpose equipment. Good. Grab some more flexible designs. That's good. One at a time. God dang it. Infantry is so weak. 
And I'm actually have you guys just kind of hold for now. 104 losses. I mean, obviously we're going to take more losses than they are. Just because infantry isn't super strong. Power armor. I mean, they'll still be doing well. Hopefully, hopefully Paladin Niels is going to be getting some army X or just XP for himself. So that'll be good. And we're really hurting their stockpile. So that's probably the most important thing. Seti, Stonewall, oh, another division, don't mind if we do. If that's the case, I'm actually going to make less divisions, and I want to make these guys thicker. Not bad, not bad. I could force the attack, but that's a, that's pretty darn risky, so let's get some more propaganda. 77, 76, just because the infantry is looking a little weak, which is totally fine. Take a break, take a break. Now, we probably don't know that much about them. Plenty of manpower. And this is all they've got. Doki Doki Buddies. Uh, stockpile? They, all, they have robots, but not. But they literally have none. Uh, get some logistical concerns next. Our battle is fighting the Hang Dogs Coster chapter dearly. We are running low on men. We need to see if we can look outside the Brotherhood for more men for a cause. Can we get civilian factories? Or workshops for men? Um, I'm not sure if I really understand that one, but okay. Throw them in. I think we're going to win this battle, guys. I think we're going to win it. There we go, we won the first battle. Keep the pressure up. Now they're looking extremely weak, which is awesome. Both go, go, go. We gotta end the world quickly. I think I'm gonna manually control the, well, the power armor. Because I want to encircle and destroy the divisions. I mean, they can keep attacking. Alright, so the power armor, I want you to attack right here. Take Mars Valley. Just destroy whatever they have in terms of divisions. Nice. Next up, we're going to come this way. Because... Gotta wish we had more divisions, though. Hopefully we can circle these guys and just destroy them. Outright, maybe? No, yes. Yes, no, maybe so. Oh, another division, good. Oh, hold the line. And weakening, weakening our line allows them to attack our line even more, so... That's fine with me. There they go. That's what I wanted to see. At least one division over here. Good, good, good. You know, you guys are going to come up here. This is really going to hurt our power armor, but it's a necessary evil for now. Crush them so we can kill this division off. Good. Kill them off. Just take this territory. We've lost 200, which makes sense. We'll get more manpower where we're headed, so. Drop lowers are gone. Thank you. And they're overran. That's what, exactly what we need. Next up. So, let's see. I'll probably go this direction next. Come right here. Whee! And occupy territories. It's going to cost a lot, but we got to get as much of that as possible. Thank you. Don't have enough guns. And we're also out of coffee. Which sucks. Oh, you might not be able to hold out up there. Throw you up there. Let's see, selection, reclamation, authority. Uh, if we have that available, let's go do some of this. Local workspaces. Come on, get up there. There you go. That should be enough to hold out, maybe. Maybe not, whatever. Maybe even if we lose it, it doesn't... I don't really care, I'll be honest. Set up that way. The goal is to destroy enemy divisions. We could force defense, but... Uh... Eh, go and do it. it we, we won't actually lose our divisions by doing that. Biplane fighters, we could do that. Let's grab some more research speed, though better. Good job, guys. Um, we won't have enough divisions for everything here, so... Right, go that way. You just begin doing that. Just punch them. You just go that way. You go down there. There you go. No, we are losing a couple guys there. Whatever. It's a necessary evil. You guys go up there. Robot City's ours. Alright, and we're gonna fight that way and circle this this guy here. You're not leaving. Nope. You're not gonna circle me there. I'm just gonna send you guys up north to Warland. There you go. I'm gonna have you guys force the attack. Logistical concerns, very good. And manpower or better robotics. I think we would probably want to go with manpower, but I'm gonna go with first stealth boys, electricity, our might. 
Well, that's one bonus. Here we go. I'll do our might. The brother of Seals feared and respected throughout the Wasteland for military might. In terms of combat effectiveness, we, have, we are high above the drugs that the Wasteland has to offer. One power armor is worth ten unarmored soldiers, if not more. Studying previous engagements will help us improve our future combat doctrine. Okay, help him out. Actually, you just encircle them right there. There you go. Help him out. Teach him a lesson. These guys are still faltering, which is not good, but that's alright. Come on. Help him out. <clears throat> Offer them a relief, as we'll call it. Just to take out everything around here. That's fine. <clears throat> Robot City's ours. That's good for factories. Flexible designs will be good. Let's grab some more clay working as well. Keep beating them up. That's all I care about. Just beat them up. Actually, you guys can actually hold it. I'll let the infantry do that. You guys go here and encircle and destroy them. More divisions? Yes, please. Infantry, which we need to improve upon. You immediately begin attacking. These guys will take these guys out, which will be good. And you've got to keep these guys here, too. You're not going to be able to win the battle, but whatever. I don't really care. Automation's nice. Get some more smoke signals. That's a brotherhood we're using smoke signals. I'm not sure that makes a lot of sense, but we'll roll with it. More stability's good. Nice, we overran a few divisions. That's good. Head on up here, too. You do that. Infantry, we've almost gone to Warland. We've lost a total of... 268, so that's not too good. Both killed off more than they, they killed off us. <clears throat> and not too bad. Pretty good. Now we're missing a lot of things. Oh, that's not going to be good. That's really not going to be good, is it? That's why I've got that extra compliance every single day. Two, so jump to the point. 2.22. Oh my goodness, it's so little. Uh, that's not good. And we're running out of manpower too, but... Well, we gotta start saving political power up. Now, I'm not sure when these guys are gonna attack us. Oh, they've already killed off a lot of people down there already. So we gotta core a lot. I would love to attack these guys. I just don't think we're gonna have the capabilities. You know, I'm gonna risk it. I want the trade node. I'm going nuts right now. Woo! I would love to expand our infantry to make them at least 20 combat width. We're going to have to wait, just because we need more guns to put down resistance. That'd be good, whatever. Uh, so get as much compliance here as possible. Even this is not looking great, but hey. It's better than nothing. Rapid deployment is good. We're going to go with Marching Fire, because this side is actually not bad, but we don't have a lot of support companies for these guys. I don't know. We'll have more support companies for infantry and stuff later on, but we'll see what happens. Oh, it's getting worse. It's And yeah, so we're going to have a good. Hmm. Five hundred some. Oh, our might, that'll be good. And voice on conscripts. Yeah, we'll definitely we'll definitely have to do that. Steel legions are not bad though. Bunker mindset, we'll definitely have to build some of that up. Gathering rations. Man, we are so not given a lot here, are we? I'm gonna do steel legions. Standing side by side are men form a wall of unbreakable strength. The Brotherhood is like one long chain spread out across the continent, with many, many links throughout its length. No part of the Brotherhood is weak. Every man and woman is trained to a level of proficiency other groups can only dream of. Well, let's hope so. That's really hope so. Hmm. Mars Valley's looking really good. Only increased by 0.2. Oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. Or really 1.4. Or 0.43, or whatever it was we just saw. Any other way to get more compliance? <laughs> oh, man. Burden of strength. I like I like that. That's actually not too bad. More organization, max planning. Oof. Righteous cause. I mean, that, that's... We have to get this one going to go to war with Lanius. But, on track of mind... Nightly armaments, that's not bad. More max, more max speed and reliability would be nice. Pre-war designs. Oh, we're, are we missing more scrap? No, we're actually missing water. Huh. Well, we could trade away for it, but it's not like it's super necessary. We, we need one. And that's for power armor, which we're doing okay on. Oh, is this finally going down a little bit more? 642. Peace conference is over. Six, no, it's barely going up, though. That's good. Resistors. 
Hmm. Grab some improvised tools. We need more output. And next, we're going to grab someone else. Tech acquisition. I like the research speed. Monthly population is not bad, really. And more stability. I don't want to... Actually, we do that. That's not bad, actually. Just because you get more political power. And we can always get more stability by using our political power. So, I'm going to grab that. Now, it doesn't help us that much, obviously. But, whatever. I'm not going to trade anybody yet. Good God, we need more guns, though. Hmm. Not, not bueno. <laughs> not super bueno, but getting more compliance will definitely help us out. Oh, we've almost hit the max there. And actually, this is going down already, which is awesome. Alright, after Steel Legions. New Initiates, Power Armor Bonuses, Land Doctrine. Just, there's nothing here. That's really, really great. Uh, I'm going to go Bunker Mindset. Although, almost all members of the Brotherhood weren't born in a bunker... Almost all of them were born in a bunker, and most of us spent our lives growing up in and around them. For us, the safety of a bunker is reassuring and comforting. As a result, Brotherhood fortifications are built to a high standard or higher standard than most others due to our familiarity with the reinforced structures. Which is not bad. So, once we core this, we get a whole dockyard. God dang it. And there's no, literally no resources. What the heck? At least it's cheap to core. That's all I can say. At least it's cheap. Ooh, that's getting better. Local workspaces. Yes, more output. Please, for the love of God, more output. We're actually going to grab work camps immediately just because we already are lacking... You know, resources, so. Not bad. So, yeah, this is definitely a challenging start with the Maxon chapter. Because <clears throat> you're on a time limit. We're definitely on a time limit, so. But this got a little bit more attacking defense, and that's for everyone, so. Now, attacking these guys is probably actually a really bad idea, but getting a trade node is so important, and get more resources. And actually, these guys have a good amount of factories, too, so that'll be helpful. Especially once we start, uh, like, building up forts around here, because you know the Black Sun's going to die. As well as Sun Dogs, probably even Scorpion's Bites, Di you know, Diana, Twin Mothers. They're just going to go bye-bye. Eventually, eventually. And it looks like we're doing better, finally, better on guns. <sighs> working a little bit on manpower as well. Got some clay working getting done, that's nice. After that, we're going to go ahead and grab... What are we going to grab? <clears throat> Hmm. Hmm. Doggos would be nice, but we don't really have the don't really have that much of industry. We we'll probably have to go healing about it, actually. New citizens care package would be nice, but obviously we can't afford that. Maybe we got a good amount of war support though. Hmm. Nice. Oh, there we go. Now resistance is finally being suppressed to the point where it's it's manageable. Come on, just keep getting more compliance. Two, almost 2.5 a, a day? Almost. That's not bad. That's not bad. It just takes so long to get that done, though. Why? Cultural advisor. Hmm. Monthly population, but less caps income. Honestly, 25% isn't that much. Monthly population of 3. 25% of 3 is like less than 1. So, you get a little bit more stability, but I'll probably wait on that one. Let's grab some deco signals. That'd be good. Some core territory. Research speed goes up. I like that one a lot. Oh, but 5% of our factory output could be so good. Uh, we're going to get all these guys anyways eventually. I'm going to go ahead and grab probably this. Because all this stuff is cool and all. And that's really good, but... Yeah, that just helps everything else out. So, I do want to get to this research speed. So, surface outposts. In order to expand our operations farther and farther, we require secure facilities to store supplies and rest between expeditions. Establishing a construction core specifically for the purpose of building surface fortifications would benefit us greatly, greatly, greatly. So, we're going to save up a little more political power so once we get that thing so we can get more stability by using either factories or lowering the research speed. That's fine with me. Marching fire. Let's grab some hit and run. Nice. Very nice. And we'll go to war soon with new sterling. Hopefully they don't have anti-tank on their divisions, which would be good. Oh man, our divisions are not looking good. They're really lacking guns. Oh, that's so not good. But we're, at least we're looking better on guns. We actually have a few support robots too. Power armor's looking actually really, 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 really good. I don't want to lower this, but we'll do it for now. Twin Mothers. 60%. How are we only at 60.5%? 60, 60 Come on. 
as long as we can core robot city i think maybe even if we lose all of our like our provinces down here if we core robot city we might have enough victory points so we can still like hold off right there because lanius is not going to be easy man oh, i'm not looking forward to that war stability it's not bad decode signals that's good i'm just gonna do vacuum tubes i want even more research speed hmm Nah, I do it anyways, why not? That's fine with me. I want as much stability as possible. As much, as much, as much, as much, as much. Hey, you're actually doing better on guns now. Less than 200 you needed. Great. <clears throat> and maybe we'll end the episode after we get the next focus done, maybe. We've got about a month left before we can go to war with the Iron Alliance. And all they have is infantry equipment. So they'll be not too bad to take out. Even though that's a lot more resistance. <clears throat> But it should be easier to... <clears throat> my apologies for my voice. Oh my goodness, what is my voice doing? Is it going through a second puberty? I hope not. That would not be very good for me. Let's go with basic tools. Even more output. Output, 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 output. I'm thinking long term here. I'm thinking we just got to... We got to take them out as fast as possible because it takes forever. As we can see, it takes forever to get more and more compliance. Just too long, man. Just too long. New season care package would be pretty good for even more daily compliance because that's actually that's something we could really really use. So, underground workshops, expanding our industrial base inside of our bunker network is, to our, is our next priority. Setting up industry within fortified positions will allow us to continue to create a respectable output even when on the back foot. Effectively creating a layer of industry that our enemy cannot take until the very end, and that's a good thing. <clears throat> well, you know what? I guess we'll end the episode there then, just because it's going to take a little bit more time for us to go to War with New Sterling. And stuff like that. But regardless, if you enjoyed it, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when we will take out New Sterling and probably have to hold out against Lannis' cohort. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.